What's up guys, Inigami here. Let's go through 60 Stamina Shiki Raid. We're going to be using a Anel Marco team, the one that you might have seen in my preparation guide that I make a while back. By a while back, I mean like three days ago. Uh, if I go through all of my Anel captains, you can do this with a double Anel team also. So instead of doing Marco Anel, you just use two Anels, in which case you will use one anel doing your burst term and use the second anel whenever he revives. That way you can use anel special to just kill him through his defense. Because the exact damage that anel deals will kill him. And the best thing about a double anel team is a double anel team has a much easier time with these early stages. The downside with a double anel team is that double anel gives you much less damage. Um, using this exact same team it gives me 500,000 less damage. Let's see, I want to try to see if I can wait. Uh, he's gonna swap my orbs anyways, I should've just killed him. I knew he swaps orbs too. Let's see, can I kill this guy with this attack? No, I cannot. So I'll tell both of these guys. Take a first hit here. The best guy that you can stall on for basically forever is the cannon guy on stage 2 if you're using a Marco friend or even if you're using a double NL team. Because the cannon guy on stage 2 attacks you for just under 4,000 damage every 2 turns. And if you're using an NL with high recovery, you should only be taking basically about 200 to 300 damage per turn. And this guy on round 1 also deals just under 4,000 damage. So you can stall on him for plenty, plenty of time too. You can see here I'm healing for about 1,700 every one turn. So in two turns, I'm just I'm going to be taking about 500 damage every two turns, right? And I'll just take a couple turns here. Uh, whenever we go to the next stage, I am going to look for some quick orbs before I go forward. That will heal me all the way back to full. Uh, the reason I want some quick orbs is because, remember, the big blue guy in the middle of stage two will... Uh, despair our captains or to scare our captain or our friend captain. He'll despair one of our captains if you leave him alive for the turn. So we're going to take him down first thing ASAP. And that's probably enough stalling for now. Yeah, that's enough stalling for now. Sure, I'll take both of those meats and get rid of all my orbs. See if I can find myself another blue orb. How are our cooldowns? This guy, this int guy right here, he's the one that... It despairs both captains. Okay, thanks. Uh, this guy right here, he is the one that will attack for just under 4,000 damage also. So he is the another ideal guy for you to stall on. And remember that these dex guys in the background, those guys, if you ever see them, no matter what color they are, what they will do is they will delay the cooldown of whatever character that is that they're weak against so for these guys they'll delay strength character specials by two turns if they survive turn one but since I don't have any strength characters doesn't matter I can just leave them alive take them down take one more hit all my specials will be up one big thing you want to have ready before you go into the next stage is your thousand sunny special because we're gonna use our thousand sunny special to help us get through the squid I'll take them out Look for some more blue orbs because blue orbs are nice. And the squid. The squid will preemptively paralyze one of our characters for four turns. Uh, where is it? There it is. He'll, he's got the Rob Lucci. And this paralyze is a high risk paralysis, is what it says. So that means there is a very, very good chance that's like a 99% chance, something like that. I almost never have it actually let me attack. To not let your character attack. Take down the squid. And I guess I take down the entire stage. Happens. Next stage, the guy in the back, this little friend right here, that dex guy will either on the second turn, either blind you for 10 turns or uh, enrage their team. So hopefully you want it to be the enrage if you leave it alive. I should have had my... Should have attacked a little differently there. So now I'm gonna have to focus him on round two. I can also hope that the blind hope that it's a blind. I will just take him out. Let's do our best. Maybe we should take him out. Take him out, take a hit from the girl. 
and then Nell will heal us back up. So make sure you take that girl out. You don't want to try to get lucky. You can hope to get lucky, but I hear the last time you have to do that, you have to stay up all night to get lucky. Bye bye, girls. Our paralysis is gone, and we're on to Shiki. Shiki will preemptively shuffle our orbs and swap our captain with one of our characters. If you do not get a captain that you want it to be, and you saw there that he was going to swap it with Ivanka, you can exit out of the game. Make sure you close the game out and come back into the game. If you do that before your turn happens, then you will always have Shiki swap the character with the right side. For first, so first turn, he will swap with one of your bottom characters, so you can make it always your bottom right character. Next turn, he'll swap it with one of your middle characters. You can make that always the middle right hand. And on turn three, you will have both of your captains back to normal. That is when we're going to burst. And on our first turn, he's going to cut our health in half. We'll turn off my Nell special. So we're going to do as much damage as we can turn one, which is basically only Marco captain ability because of how my team's set up. If you have things like Thatch or any other good quick character you can use as a captain, you can put them on the bottom right hand corner instead of bringing like Ivanka and that will help out your team a lot actually having to do actually being able to do damage on turn two or turn three so we're gonna we're with this team you're basically gonna do no damage on turn two or turn three but we can use our Mihawk right away Boo -doo -doo -doo. use our Mihawk right away and then we're just going to attack as best we can We're gonna take just take hits on turns two and three. Look at those greats. I love hitting greats. So good. Uh, Shiki doesn't do anything based off his health. It's just based off turns. So you can get him low all you want. There's our 50% health cut, and we will have enough health to survive the next attack. Swaps. It doesn't matter where he swaps for me. Uh, we're not doing any damage anyways. Boom. At this point, I'd like to save any blue or recovery orbs that I have. Because, like I said, the damage we're going to deal is not much. It's only 55,000 damage. Save any blue or recovery orbs so you can use them on this turn with your Rob Lucci and Ivankov. I have one recovery orb. We'll use Ivankov, give herself an orb. Then we'll use Rob Lucci, and then we will move him around with Doflamingo. Remember to use Doflamingo before you use Marco. Use Dofi before you use Marco. That's fine. I can keep I can keep one green orb, I guess. Boo -doo 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 -doo. And we use our Nell. Make sure you use Marco last. Use a Nell and Dofi before you use Marco. Marco is only healed here to heal us. And Dofi. Move the green orb over. Come on. Thank you. And Marco to heal. And here we go. Land all those delicious, delicious perfects. Goodbye, Shiki. Now, Shiki revives. He will have 30 hit points when he revives. With our team, we cannot actually deal 30, uh, 30 damage to him. But as long as you have over 15,000 hit points, you can survive a hit from him. Uh, because he will have... Uh, he will attack you for about 21,000. Doesn't matter where he swaps, because our Marco will be our friend. That will reduce the damage that we take by 30%. So instead of taking 50,000... I mean, instead of taking 20,000, we're only going to take 15,000. So we're just going to take the first hit. Then kill him on the second round. And that, guys, is one way you can do Shiki with a completely free-to-play team. It's not the best team around. It's actually a pretty bad team. Very difficult to do. If you have, like I said, you can always use an Anel friend. That will make it much easier for the first through fourth stages. You have less damage for a burst stage. But you also deal more damage on rounds two and three. Because you always, always have that Anel captain up. I'm so bad with this microphone. So using an L friend, you do more damage on turn two and three. Uh, I mean, turn one and two. And then you will 
be able to just use a Nell to clear him out after he revives. But let's talk about what Shiki actually does, right? Shiki, uh, once you evolve him, his captain ability boosts the attack and hit points of driven characters by one point, I mean, by two times. So once you evolve him, it's a two times attack and hit point boost to driven characters, making him one of the best free-to-play driven captains there is. He is a driven slashing character, so a very, very good slasher, and he's got some great stats, uh, 1400 attack once maxed out, and his special ability will change any uh, block, G, or bomb orbs into matching orbs, and also boost the attack of driven characters by 1.75 times for one turn. So he's a driven attack type booster. He's an orb manipulator. If you use him in conjunction with Lao G, or someone who empties orbs like Colosseum Kid, who's not out yet, but will be out eventually, use those two guys together. Get yourself all matching orbs for your driven characters, and... Uh, you can also make use of him as a great captain, so Shiki, all around a super, 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 very good character. Uh, highly recommend you get him if you want to use him. He is basically the better version of Strength Arlong for any slasher team that you have. And just a little bit less attack, but much better special ability. I highly recommend getting him, getting him maxed out as fast as you can. I've been Zinigami, thank you so much for watching, y'all stay beautiful.